Today we start a new book in our Daily in the Word journey. And to be honest, it's unlike any other book we've encountered throughout this journey together. You know, it's even been said of the Song of Solomon that if it wasn't in our Bible and the document was discovered at a archaeological dig of some ancient place, that it's unlikely that many of us would even include it in the collection of the Old Testament books. It's just very unique in the canon of Scripture. And some people, they kind of choose to just ignore the book. Others see it more like an allegory, kind of like a, like a fictional piece of literature. Think of like the Chronicles of Narnia with C.S. Lewis. But here's what I want to recommend as we read through this book together. See it as a book that's rooted in literal history and a powerful description of romantic love between a man and a woman. You see, the book doesn't unfold like a love story where we have a a boy meets girl scene, dating and marriage, children and happily ever after with bells ringing, a a castle in the background and a, a song crescendoing that one day may your dreams come true. It's not a Cinderella story, but rather it's a a collection of snapshots of the relationship, a romantic relationship between a man and a woman. And here's the thing about the world we live in. We are intoxicated with romance. The the whole concept of falling in love and the emotional, relational, physical, even spiritual dynamics of being in love, the challenge is the world is full of broken images and descriptions of romance. It's often so, so twisted. But through the Song of Solomon, we see that God, as the creator and designer and originator of romance, his best setup for you and I to receive the best that romance has to offer is in a committed relationship, one man, one woman for one lifetime of marriage. It's in his design that we're able to fully enjoy all that romance has to offer. See, romance within marriage should be celebrated, enjoyed, and revered. And I want to encourage you as you read through this book to see it that way. And lastly, to be reminded that God, this designer of romance, he loves us. In fact, the apostle of love in the New Testament, the apostle John, described God's love for you and me in this way. 1 John 4, 9. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son, Jesus, into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins.